O Zeus, my king and knight, dear knight, queen of the house who covers us with glories, you slung your net on the towers of Troy, neither young nor strong could leap, the giant dredge net of slavery, all embracing ruin. I adore you, I am Zeus of the guests, and your avenge you drew your longbow, year by year to a taut full drawn, till one bolt not falling short, or arching over the stars, could split the mark of power. The sky show of God, it is all choice to tell, but even I can trace it to its cause. God does as God decrees, and still some say that heaven will never stoop to punish men, who trample the lovely grace of things, untouchable, how wrong they are. A curse burns bright on crime, full blown the father's crimes will blossom, burst into the sun and let there be less suffering, give us the sense to live on what we need. Bastions of wealth are no defence for the man who treads the grand altar of justice, down and out of sight. Persuasion, riding in charge of ruin, overpowers him. Ruin plans it all, and the wound will smoulder on, there is no cure. A terrible brilliance kindles on the night. He is bad, bond, scraped on the touchstone. Put to the test, the man goes black, like the boy who chases. A bird on the wing bans his city, brings it down and prays. The gods are deaf to the one who turns to crime. They tear him down. So Paris learned. He came to Atreus' house. And shamed the table spread for guests. He stole away the queen. And she left her hand to chaos. Clanging shields, companions tramping. Bronze prowls, men in bronze. And she came to Troy with a dowry. Death strode through the gates, defiant in every stride. As prophets of the house looked on and wept. Oh, the halls and the walls of war. The bed and the fresh prince of love. I see him unavenging, unavenged. The stun of his desolation is so clear. He longs for the one who lies across the sea. Until her phantom sees his sway the house. A curving images. Her beauty hurts her lord. The eyes starve and the touch of love is gone. And the radio dreams are passing in the night. The memories throb with sorrow, joy and pain. It is no pain to dream and see desires slip through the arms, a vision lost for ever, winging down the moves, drifts asleep, so he grieves at the royal hearth, yet others' grief is worse, far worse, although grief. For those who flock to war, they are holding back the anguish now, you can feel it rising now in every house, I tell you there is much to tear the heart, they knew the men they sent, but now in the place of men, ashes and urns come back to every hearth. War, war! Great gold broke of corpses, holds the balance of the battle of a spear. Home from the pyres he sent them, home from Troy to the loved ones, heavy with tears the urns brimmed full, the heroes returns in gold dust, do light ash for men, and they weep, they praise him, he had skill in the sword play. He went down so tall in the onslaught, all for another woman, so they matter in secret, and the rancor steals towards our staunch defenders, Atreus' sons. And they ring the wolves, the young, the leaf, the handsome hold the graves. They won in Troy, the enemy earth, rise over those who conquered. The people's voice is heavy with hatred, and on the curse of the people must be paid. And now I wait, I listen, there is something breaking. The night shroud. The god takes aim. And the one who murdered many, the swervy fury stalks the man. But gone rich beyond all rights with a twist, of fortune grind him down, dissolve him into the blurring dead. There is no help to the reach, for power can recoil, the bolt of gold can strike you at a glance. Make me rich with no man's envy. Neither raid of cities no, nor slave come face to face with life, overpowered by another. Fire comes and the news is good, it races through the streets, but is it true, who knows, or just another life from heaven? Sure the man so childish, wonderstruck, he fired upon his first torch. Then, when the message shifts, he sicks at heart. Just like a woman, to fill with the facts before the truth is clear. So gullible, their stories spill like wildfire. They fly fast and die faster. Rumours voiced by a woman come to nothing. Soon we'll know her fires what they are. Her relay race of torches, hand to hand, know if they're real or just a dream. The hope of a morning here to take our senses. I see a herald running from the beach, and the victor's spray of olive shades his eyes. And the dusty kicks twin to the mud of Troy, 
Shows he has no voice, no kindling timber. On the cliffs no signal fires for him. He can shout the news and give us joy or else... Please. Not that. Bring it on, good fuel to build the first good fires. If anyone calls down the worst on Argos, let him reap the rotten harvest of his mind. Good Greek, earth, the soil of my fathers, ten years out in the morning brings me back. All hope snapped but one. I'm home at last. Never dreamed I'd die in Greece, a sign and narrow plot I love the best. And now I salute the land, the light of the sun, our lord high Zeus and the king of Pytho. No more arrows, master, raining on our hands. As Scamander's banks we took our share. Your longbow brought us down like plague. Now come deliver us, hear us, Lord Apollo. God of the market, here take my salute. And you, my Hermes, escort. Loving herald, the herald's shield and prayer. And the shining dead of the land who wants the armies warm us home. For all the spear has left. You hall of kings, you roof I cherish. Sacred seats, you God that catch the sun. If your glances ever shone on him in the old days. Greet him well, so many years are lost. He comes, he brings us light in the darkness, free from every comrade, Agamemnon, lord of men. Give him the royal welcome he deserves. He hoisted the pickaxe of Zeus who brings revenge. He dug Troy down, he worked her soil down, the shrines of her gods and the high altars gone, and the seed of her wide earthy grounds a bit. That's the yoke he claps on Troy. The king, the son of Atreus, comes, the man is blessed, the one alive to merit such rewards. Never Parson or Troy, partners to the end, can say their work out, raise their wages now. Convicted of a pine, shipped of all his spoils. His father's house and the land that gave it life, scythed them to the roots, the sons of Priam paid a price twice over. Welcome home from the wars, Herald. Long live your joy, our joy. Now I could die gladly, say the word, dear gods. Long for your country left you raw? The tears fill my eyes for joy. You too, down with the sweet disease that kills a man with kindness. Go on, I don't see what you love. For the one who loved you, as we took you. You mean the land and the armies hungered for each other? There were times I thought I'd faint with longing, so anxious for the armies. Why? For years now, only my silence kept me free from harm. What? The king's gone, did someone threaten you? So much... Now, as you said, it would be good to die. True, you have done well. Think back in the years, and what have you? A few runs of luck? A lot that's bad? Who but a god can go through life unmarked? A long, hard pull we had, if I would tell it all. The iron rations penned in the gangways, hock by jowl like sheep. Whatever miseries break a man, our quota, every sun-starved day. And on the beaches it was worse, dug in under the enemy's ramparts, steadily going out of the sky, out of the marshy flats, the dew soaked us, turned the ruts we fought from into gullies, made our gear, our scabs cool with lice, and talk of the cold, the sleep to freeze the girls, and the big snopes came avalanching down from Eda. Oh, but the heat, the sea, and the windless noons, the swells of sleep dropped to the dead calm. But why weep now? It's over for us, over for them. The dead can rest and never rise again. No need to call their master, we're alive. Do we have to go on to raking up all the rooms? Goodbye to all that, glad I am to say it. For us the remains of the Greek contingents, the good winds out, no pain can tip the scales. Not now, so shout this boast to the bright sun. Fitting it is, wing it over the seas and rolling earth. Once, when an Argive expedition captured Troy, they hauled these spoils back to the gods of Greece. They bolted them high across the temple doors, the glory of the past. And hearing that, men will applaud our city and our chiefs, and Zeus will have the hero's share of fame. He did the work. That's all I have to say. I'm convicted. Glad that I was wrong. Never too old to learn. It keeps me young. First the house and the queen. It's their affair. But I can taste the riches. I cried out long ago. For joy when the first herald came burning through the night, and told the city's fall, and there was some who smiled and said, A few fires persuade you, Troy and ashes. Woman, woman, elated over nothing. You made me seem deranged, for all that I sacrificed a woman's way. You'll stay, station to station on the walls. We lifted the cries of triumph that resounded in the temples of the gods. We lulled them, blessed the fires with myrrh as they consumed our victims. But enough! 
Why prolong the story? For then the king himself I gather all I need. Now for the best way to welcome home, my lord, my good lord. No time to lose. What dawn can feast a woman's in their eyes like this? I can see the light. I can see the light the husband's plot from war. But save and God and open wide the gates. Tell him that and have him come with speed. The people's darling, how long for him? And for his wife, may he return and find her true at all. Just as the day he left her, faithful to the last, a watchdog gentle to him alone. Savage. To those who cross this path, I have not changed. The strains of time can never break our seal. In love of a new lord, in ill repute I am, as practised as I am in dying bronze. That is my boast, teeming with the truth, I am proud, a woman of nobility. I'll hurl it from the roofs. She speaks well, but it takes no seer to know, she only says what's right. Wait, one thing. Menelaus, is he home too? So for the men? The power of the land, dear king. Huh. I doubt that lies with hell, my friends. In the lean months to come. Help us somehow. Tell the truth as well. But when the two conflict, it's hard to hide. Out with it. He's lost. Gone from the fleets. He and his ship, it's true. Have you watched him pull away from Troy? Or did some storm attack you and all tear you off the line? There, like a marksman, the whole disaster cut to a word. But how did the escorts give him out, dead or alive? No clear report, no one knows. Only the wheeling sun that heats the earth to life. But then the storm. How, lo how did it reach the ships? How did it end? Were the angry gods on hand? This blessed day ruin it with them? Better to keep their trophies far apart. When the runner comes, his face in tears, saddled with what his city dreaded most. The armies rooted, two wounds in one. One to the city, one to the hearth and home. Our best man droves of him. Victims herded from every house by two barbed whip. That Ares likes to crack, that charioteer who packs the structures shaft by shaft. Cheer it, careering, cheering on with the bay for his bloody mares. When he comes in, I tell you, dragon that much might pay him well your battle him to the furies and high time. But when he brings salvation home to a city, singing out our heart, how can I mix the good with so much bad and blood out this? Storm swept the Greeks, and not without the anger of the gods. Those enemies for ages, fire and water, sealed up, packed, and showed it to the world. They crushed our wretched squadrons, night looming. Breakers lunging in for the kill, and the black gales come bawling out of the north. Ships ramming pro into hooking pro, galled by the rush and buck of hurricane, pounding vain by the cloud burst. Ships stampeding into the darkness, lashed and spun by a savage shepherd's hand. But when the sun comes up to light the skies, I see the Aegean, having heaving into the great bloom of corpses. Greeks, the pick of generations, scattered through the wrecks of broken spars. But not us, not our ship, our hull untouched. Someone stole us away or begged us off, no mortal, the god's death grip on the tiller, or lady like herself perched on the helm. She pulled us through, she saved us. I will never battle the heavy surf at anchor, never shipwreck upon some rocky coast. But once we cleared that sea hall, not even trusting luck in the cold light of day, we battened on our troubles. They were fresh. The armada punished, bludgeoned into nothing. And now, if one of them still has to breathe, he's saying we are lost. Why not? We say the same of him. We're his to the best. And Menelaus? Look to it. He comes back and yet, if a shaft of the sun can track him down, alive, and his eyes full of the old fire felt the strategies of Zeus, Zeus would never tear the house out by the roots, then there's hope our man will make it home. You've heard it all. Now, you have the truth. <laughs>